Well, this is one of the few e-bikes that will actually go up to 28 miles per hour. Hey, let's break! <laughs> we, we'll get a, we can get a ticket. I think that's gonna go. You think so? We'll let you guys in on a little bit of a secret. <laughs> I'm Tom. And I'm Cherie. Happy day. How's it going? Good. <laughs> Those are quite a package there. <laughs> are these TVs? <laughs> no, they're actually bikes. Okay. Well, they look like TVs. Everybody's one time for what they were at work this morning. So. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, bikes, then. Yes. Hey, enjoy them. Thank you Thank so you. much. Yeah, the TV sign was just so you guys don't drop it. <laughs> How long have you been waiting for this day? Oh my gosh. I've been talking about getting electric bikes for over a year. It's pretty it's, exciting. It's, it's pretty awesome. Electric e-bikes sent us a couple of bikes to try out, which is super awesome of them. We can't wait for the first ride. Yep, let's do it. Yeah, let's we got a black it. and a white XP. Yes. So, yeah, let's get into these boxes. Yeah. You just can't wait to get in there. Are you talking to me right now? <laughs> Why are you not over here getting into a box? <laughs> here, give me that. It's not so hard to get into. No. So apparently these things come ready to roll. Oh, yeah? Yeah, that's nice. Look, they package these really nice. Yeah, lots of foam in there, all zip tied up. Yep, even the seats covered. And what's cool is they are folding bikes so that you see the two tires together. It's not because we have to assemble it necessarily, it's just because. They fold. Yeah, it is folded together. Super cool. Accessories. Oh, it looks like a little backpack. That goes on the back rack. Thing. It's a back rock bag. Boy, they really do package these things up good. I'm impressed. Well, there's the keys. There, yeah, I found. I just found my keys too. Keys, woohoo! Woo Is it technically still a bike if it has keys? Oh, yes. <laughs> Can you pedal it? It <laughs> doesn't mean you're gonna. bike into a whole bike. Yep. Yeah, it should swing around. Cool, look at that. Wow. How sweet is that? And I thought these might be like a small bike, but this is this a, a good significant size bike. size bike. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Nice. Are we gonna do like do the operating instructions before we go for a ride? No. <laughs> Where does the key go? Where do you start this bad boy? Well, let's see. We got we got gears. We got brakes here. We got some kind of push button thing. Brakes, gears. Oh, cool. Looks like you go all the way back to set it at first gear. Yeah, maybe we should read the instructions. <laughs> Look how cute these are. Oh, it's like saddlebags. Yeah. These let's are really cool. Slip it under here so we can go grocery shopping. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is like Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and instruction manual. Ah. We're not very good about reading instructions beforehand. 
Are we going to do like do the operating instructions before we go for a ride? No! <laughs> we should read the instructions. We should read the instructions. Have you seen that? Oh, that's what we need to locate though. Folding and unfolding, preparing to ride. I'm sure all components are properly secured before riding, otherwise serious harm or death could occur. Puddles, handlebars, handlebar clamp, cranks, seat, seat post clamp. Keys go up underneath. Real? Oh. Oh, there's a little hole right here. Really? The keys go underneath, huh? That's that, what it shows. That's, um, I bet you the battery is in this section right here. <laughs> there goes Cherie. Our first ride was just around our little RV park, just to get a taste of the fun that we're gonna have with our new electric bikes. <laughs> yeah. <Pretty> fast. <laughs> oh, someone just wondered how fast it goes. Outside of the park. This is pretty cool. It's Friday night. Friday night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Get the party started, huh? Oh, yeah. You ready to roll? Yeah. Alright. So how much do you love it? Such a cool sidewalk right here. I normally run along here. It's cool to be in bikes. <laughs> you can go so far. Yeah, without a lot of effort. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. <laughs> okay. You're in my dream team. You're in my dream team. Woo! Are you recording this? Yeah. Because <laughs> I am meant for this TV now. You know what? I want to sit on the side. Babe, I don't care. Right. You want, it. you want me or you want the Oh! I'll just show you. It's me. I'll be a miserable me. Oh, <laughs> but that you have got it going on. Oh, you had it. Almost clear. Oh, oh cool. Now, since they came out this color, I'm like, that is my dream. Well, so it's been what, since 20? 18? 18? 18. Maybe I'll be here. We're gonna be. Oh my gosh! No, no, no. I feel him. We're, we're starting. So that's it. We're 60, 55 ish. We're gonna put our guns, RV. We're gonna a month in each state. You know, you know, there you go. Now I wanna get the whole thing in like hike and snorkel. That's why we do it this whole thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Go enjoy your Jeep. Enjoy your Jeep. Like she's still <laughs> loving it two years later. Right. That's yeah. my life. Oh my god, it's the yes. best. Okay. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> I can see why it was meant to be to be out uh, dr uh, biking tonight, huh? Right. So you find that. Uh, <laughs> How funny. Yeah. I need a place to clear my mind. I need a getaway. I need a West Coast sunset paradise. I need a getaway. That was a fun ride, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Those are fun. Get to come out here and catch sunset. Yeah. Can we, can we take some beers? 
Hi. You didn't, didn't you? You forgot the beer. Yeah. <laughs> You are so happy now that we have these things here. Yeah. Rather be on these than running right now. And look at the bling on that Jeep. Get some badass coffee. Woo! What do you think you're doing there? <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty effective to have a flashing light. Yeah, I'm, I'm still only on a two. So now we're gonna see how small these things really get. We're going to attempt to put two e-bikes in the back of the Prius. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> so first we got to release this little clamp right here. Just push that forward and then pop it open. And this thing just folds up just like that. Get the kickstand here. And there we go. Just like that. These are pretty hefty, so I won't say that they're light. I'll, I'll fold the handlebars in as well. So we'll release that. We'll fold that in like that. And we're gonna go ahead and push the seat in as well. Do that. There we go. I don't think two will fit in the trunk, do you? Yeah, maybe go ahead and uh, lay it down. You think that's gonna go? You think so? Uh, Yay! Yay, how about Yay. that? <laughs> we could always make room in the seat and, and get both of them in here if we wanted to. So now let's see how fast we can put this back together again. Let's say we took a trip somewhere and now we want to get on the road quickly here. Pull it out. See how fast it pops together. Let's do the handlebars first. Bring that up. Snap that right there. Put the swing around like that. There we go. Now it's just the seat. We'll try that. We should time that, see how many seconds it takes. Yeah. Ready to go. So check this out. They each actually come with these bags here that you can uh, strap on here. And uh, we're gonna put camera gear in ours right now as we're recording, but looks like they would hold quite a bit of stuff. So many pop this side open there take a look look at all that room you could make a small grocery trip i suppose with that should we go for a ride let's go for a ride all right guess who this is hi i'm logan this is logan my son <laughs> y'all know me do maybe. we look alike <laughs> <laughs> ah guess who's gonna ride hi <laughs> all right let's see you go We'll let you guys in on a little bit of a secret. This RV park may look amazing. We're close to the beach here. We're in the beautiful Destin, Florida area. But 
looks can be deceiving and we're gonna have more on that coming up be sure to subscribe so you hear all about it sunset back there. That's pretty cool. Oh, that was a stop sign. We're going to get yelled at for that. <laughs> Hi there. What is Tom doing? Uh, he's reading something. <laughs> is he finally reading the manuals for the bikes? Because he's got the bikes out. Let's go check. What you doing, Tom? Oh, I'm reading the manual. That's what I thought you were doing. Let me show you what I learned. All right. So let me show you what I learned about these. So when we first got them, they were fully assembled, just broken down, and the battery is already pretty much fully charged. We'll talk more about that, but let's go ahead and get this battery out. It's a 48 volt lithium ion battery that you can charge attached here I'll actually this is the charger right here 
They actually recommend charging them inside with the battery outside of the bike, but you can plug it in right here and then charge it. But they don't want it getting too hot, and we're kind of in the Florida heat right now, so I think for safety's sake, we'll store the battery inside and also charge it inside. So let's get that big battery out. We've got to release it and fold the bike in half and unlock it. That's what one of the kind of the cool things about uh, the electric XP e-bike is that the battery kind of have has its own security feature. I'll show you what that looks like. You will see there's a couple of posts that have this locked in. Like I cannot remove this battery right now. I've got to unlock it first. So you turn it to the unlock position, pull the key back out, and now the battery slides right out. And this is actually a lot of the weight of the bike. The bike is 63 pounds. You take this out, this must be 10 or 15 pounds of that right here. I'm gonna go ahead and make this even smaller to give you an idea of how much it breaks down. Now, for those of you that uh, may not wanna lift 63 pounds, this thing is definitely lighter without that battery in it. So, yeah, if you need to get a workout, you can always do this with the bike. But as we showed you before, it does fit nicely into a compact vehicle like the Prius. It doesn't take long to put it back together from the folded up position. This just locks into place, just like that. And we'll grab the battery and slide it into place here, just like that. But we want to remember to lock it in place first with the keys. We'll lock the battery right there. Now it can't come out. Just like that. Another couple of notes about the battery inside here is that they recommend storing the battery at about a 75% capacity that way it, it lasts a little bit longer. And just before you take it out, uh, go ahead and charge it up a few hours beforehand. And from empty, it takes about four to six hours to charge this, so it doesn't take too long. This is where we are keeping the e-bikes right now, currently under the front of the RV. Kind of protects them from the rain a little bit. Uh, the company says that they do okay in a light rain, uh, and they still do get a little bit wet here. So it's not a perfect spot, but it'll do. We're gonna look into maybe uh, some kind of cover, maybe a tarp or maybe even grill covers would work to help protect them. Right now we're just using a simple bike lock right here. But I think after watching some other videos, we better upgrade to something a little bit more serious because these are pretty hot uh, items right now and they might uh, grow legs and walk off your campsite if you're uh, not careful. Let us know if you have any bike lock recommendations in the comments. This thing on a full battery charge will go 25 to 50 miles. And that is gonna really depend on the conditions you're in, whether you're going flat or you're going uphill. These bikes are designed to do both well on city streets but also the tires uh, got some good tread that are gonna do great uh, in the dirt if you're doing some off-roading. And you're probably wondering how fast does it go? Well, this is one of the few e-bikes that will actually go up to 28 miles per hour. Comes with a seat that you can adjust up and down depending on height. And uh, I think the seat feels pretty good. Uh, what do you think, Sheree? Yeah, I think it feels good. So some people may find it a little bit stiff. You might want to replace it or add a little bit of extra padding. I think if you're not used to riding a bike that your, your, your bum will be a little bit sore. 
yeah. for a little bit. But I mean, I probably would like a cushionier one. Some people they don't mind, but you have to build up your bum muscle. Your a bum bit there. Your bum cushion. Yeah. I can't imagine I'd need more bum cushion. <laughs> These e-bikes also come with built-in lights, uh, both front and rear, for uh, nighttime safety riding. And I'll just show the adjustability of this as well because this will also go up in height depending on uh, your comfort. Another addition that you might want to make to this is adding a little bell. We did notice that where we are right now. There's a lot of people out on the sidewalks and they're pretty clueless about when you're coming up behind them. So you do need to add a bell. Yeah, definitely read the manual. There is a feature on here if you're uh, going down on the pedal assist button and you go below zero, it puts it into a walking assist uphill mode and it's not recommended that you be on the bike when that happens because it just starts going forward on its own and you want to be ready for that and I, i've done that a couple of different times so you need to be well aware of all the features uh before you head out uh, i'm going to do a little uh, test here where you don't want to be on the bike when you do this when you go the pedal assist button down and it does it in like a walking mode to like help you walk it up a hill so oh there it oh. goes see <laughs> i know you guys are going to give us some crap about this we just got these bikes and we don't have helmets yet we are following local florida law right now they are not required but we do highly recommend uh helmets uh, when you're riding these and we will be getting a set of helmets so if you have a recommendation on what are great helmets please let us know down in the comments. And uh, I think most states don't require them again, but uh, the manufacturer and we do recommend uh, helmets. Don't do as we do, do as we say. <laughs> These bikes do have a lot of other features. We're not gonna go into all the details, but uh, we will put a link to Electric's website down in the description. Be sure to check it out. And uh, actually, these bikes are in really high demand. So if you're interested in getting one, it is a pre-order situation. It may take a while to get uh, one or two of these bikes, but they do give you, at least currently, a $100 discount if you are willing to pre-order these. So again, check out the link down in the description. These are really great if you don't have a tow car or an adventure car like we do. You can head out to the grocery store, a local restaurant, etc. We've even heard of people ditching mass transit in big cities to practice social distancing while they commute to work. Some people are even getting rid of their cars and using these to get around. Although we've put only a few miles on the electric XP e-bikes, we look forward to so much more exploring and adventuring coming up. Be sure to subscribe for more updates on what we think of the electric XP e-bikes. Would you buy an e-bike or do you already have one? Let us know down in the comments. Be sure to subscribe for our updates on what we think of these electric e-bikes and other updates that we have coming up really soon. Make sure you ring that little bell. Give the video a thumbs up if you like it. Uh, share it with your friends. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you guys in the next video. So long.